Yeah. Yeah. The solo yeah. though. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 His fingers uh, must have been uh, bleeding uh, after uh, this. Fuck yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, yeah. And the cocaine don't play make with you your teeth. And the cocaine don't make you feel it till afterwards. Yeah, it's true, man. They'll be in the hotel room after the concert. <laughs> like, oh shit, my fingers are bleeding. <laughs> Y'all got more cocaine? <laughs> Y'all got more cocaine? Yeah. Woo! Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make my hand stop bleeding? It's going to make you forget that your hand bleeding? Yeah. Word, uh-huh. you going to forget you got hand. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, drugs and rock and roll. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> drugs and rock and roll. Well, there's got to be a song about that. Yeah. Huh? There's, there's gotta definitely got to be a song about that. I mean, half the song, like the rock and roll song, the seventies and eighties was like about that, and and sex and things, and sex and things, and sex and things with and no drugs. condoms. Yes, no condoms. no protection. It was mm-hmm. mad. No protection. No contraceptive. No. Oh, imagine just living in an age, of just oh, <laughs> must have been great. Yeah, you don't have to worry about all these diseases. Yeah, just worry about pregnancy, the one and only. <laughs> thing. Word, 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 word. <laughs> The the ultimate STD. Ha ha. Ah, oh, so we're yeah. back, guys. Yes. Um, oh. Who you got to give us a heads It's your favorite Word. <laughs> the physics study group. Word. What yeah. has happened to the physics study group since the hurricane? Huh. Where's Dramatic? Did he survive? Is he hanging ass naked from a tree? Find, Find out, out later. on this episode of TPSG. Doom, doom. That's how you play SJ. TPSG. Are we... Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we're back. <laughs> yeah. We should right. introduce ourselves. Though. Yeah, so uh, you know it's your boy, Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, but usually... Shabby! Ha ha! Shabby Rankin. And it's your boy, David Bomay, a.k.a. Chico Fantastico, because I'm just so fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and this <laughs> is Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Flaka Zulu, a.k.a. Ooh. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Mm. Nicodemus, a. K A the nigga over there. Over there. Make sure you bounce the ball on them words. Uh-huh. Where? Where? We, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if we figure out the production, baby. Who yeah, we, know, we might. Use y'all's imagination. We use yeah, Microsoft use y'all. <laughs> See y'all. <laughs> we use paint for that, right? <laughs> In the credits, we just kind of imagination. So <laughs> not just use your imagination to go like that. It's it's it's. I mean, you could do it yourself. Yeah, but I mean, it's more it's more powerful when you use your own, ima- you know, work out your own imagination. You know we saying? believe but in you. We, we believe, believe in you. Here at the TP. You know what I'm saying? Other yeah. shows, they, they underestimate you and they put it in for you. They See, do. We don't treat our, 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 our and, fan base. And so. other shows don't give you these beautiful <gasps> wild ass tangents. But how is it supposed to be? It's, it. it's not a tangent if we if we ain't get, get on topic yet. Yeah, we don't yeah, have a subject. Shit, so. That was the subject by Where? default. So the so the ten so now we on a tangent. Oh shit, paradox. Oh shit, box. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. See, you get off topic, trying to get on topic, <laughs> and end up in Tra- a motherfucking rabbit hole. A word, fake deep quote of the day, <laughs> <laughs> right there. And you heard it here first. Yeah, at TPSG Studios. Mm-hmm. No reporting live. Well, this is Taj Ra Studios right here. But Word. anyway, back shout to it, man. Shout, shout out to, to, to Taj Ra. Shout out Cleo. Yeah, man. So yeah, Cleo we've and we've the cut. we've been gone. You know, we've sorry for the for the absence, <coughs> but we survived. But we survived. We had know? an interesting uh, week, y'all. But we'll get to that in a little bit. We yeah, will. we will. Let's get to a little bit of a little bit more interesting news at the moment. Uh, uh, more interesting than what we was. Yeah, yeah, it probably is more interesting. <laughs> so it was it's more it? interesting than <laughs> sitting inside the house looking at plywood. Word, yeah. The window. Yeah. Oh yeah, that 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 fucking cabin fever was a bitch. Yeah, but what, uh-huh. what? Interesting news in the news. I heard about that new uh, iPhone X10. That, uh, 10X. that 10x. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. they trying apparently to, it's the 10. They oh. trying to charge a stack for that bitch. Mm-hmm. For a whole rack for uh, iPhone. Word. Y'all see, there's already conspiracy videos out talking about how it costs 999. It's a 666 market of beast conspiracy and all this bullshit. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> word. It was quick. It was only a matter of time. It was quick, y'all. Yeah. Um, what y'all think about it? What's your well? There's two releases, right? Yeah, the eight. The eight. The iPhone eight. Uh. Uh-huh. And then the <laughs> iPhone 10. So we skipped the 7S, uh-huh. which the 8 is basically a 7S. 7S. 
And but what? they skipped the nine altogether. Yeah. Well, it's been ten years since the last iPhone. I understand since the first iPhone, y'all. So but we they, just they don't give a fuck about oh, numerical nah, order yeah, anymore. Yeah, fuck all that. Nah, you know Steve. After Steve Jobs, and, that's and, not. And, you know what? They they stopped doing numbers. Now they're going. They they, they went from uh, regular numbers to Roman numerals. Roman numerals. They about to they flip the game on his head. Right. Word. It ain't never been done. But then. Right after six, they just jumped to eight, and then now they're going to ten. Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, they had seven. They already had seven. They oh, yeah, eight. they did have but seven. There was, there was no seven S, S uh, and there's no nine at all. Or nine S. Or nine matter. S. Nine or nine S. Mm. So there, there, what if the nine come out next year? Oh, shit. They would have completely lost me that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't fuck with you no more, Apple. Man, do y'all see them face emojis or whatever they call it? Mm. Yeah, where you know you, the man, emoji, uh, the whole facial recognition some, shit is crazy. Bro. It look like some goofy ass shit, man. Yo, it, iPhone and Android about to switch places. Yeah, they <laughs> they getting ridiculous with the pricing. <laughs> now. Wow, I didn't I didn't plan that one. It just kind of happened. I want to see how that looks. Is that <laughs> is that kind of how? No, I'm not even gonna say is that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but they get they getting crazy with these prices now. You know why? Cause they have the whole thing where you um you pay per month for the phone now instead of paying out right, yeah. I'm, because people are like oh it's just you know thirty a month or whatever whatever it is they don't really look at the price it's like so paying they, off a of whip word so they charge what crazy like man whatever the fuck mm-hmm. whatever. and um and you basically it's buying a new laptop every year it's a <laughs> yeah, or a car I mean or, they got or, me I got the success on that payment plan. Yeah, but me too. I'm about to pay it off, and I'm about to switch Hold that to bitch it. with Apple Care and keep that motherfucker forever. Right. Oh, I just mine just got paid off. There we go. Yeah, yeah so I'm, and the thing with the thing with iPhones with the I think you could I'm gonna hold on to my shit for as long as possible because it's still probably still gonna work. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's gonna hold its value. Ooh. Where and it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna like right now my phone does. Everything I needed to do, mm-hmm. and my last phone did too. Don't like I had my last phone up until like the hardware crapped out on me. Okay, like it was still fast and everything. I was like shit. I just had to get a new phone. Nah, so, I feel you. Yeah, I'm not on on some new release shit. Nah, I'm a rough yeah, what I have. I'm over it now too. I I think I got over the oh new phones out and plus. I don't like the idea of only being able to unlock my phone with my face. Yeah, that's crazy. When like we so old and boring. It's not, it's not even that because <laughs> like, but Google, they don't give you like any Android yeah. Ben have. Face oh, so you unlocked. have to use your face to exactly. That's what I'm There's no uh. fingerprint scanning now. It's like Touch ID is supposedly gone. I don't see any reviews on a Touch ID alternative. Um, it's no longer I a home button. You I can't swipe up to get back home. A cable is, that can work. Can you put? I can't type. I can't type it a, a I'm code. St- I'm still upset that there's no 3.5 millimeter jack. Like Apple, you do not have the right to remove this piece of technology that's been around since the 60s, 50s. <laughs> oh yeah, 50s. for the yeah the the headphone jack. Yeah. Yeah. The 3.5 millimeter specifically. Oh, they they want to switch. That's been they they've gotten rid of it. Mm. So it's like I mean yeah. Oh, so you can't even use standard. He- you can't even use the standard headphones. Yeah. Just blow I mean, tools. eventually, you know Apple's game. Like mm-hmm. they the blow do, They they change techno- They change a piece of technology that's widely used, with hopes that they push people towards a new version mm-hmm. of what they're doing. So oh. obviously, they they wanted to remove the three point five millimeter jack to make space for other parts in the phone to have mm-hmm. more working parts and fit into a smaller, lighter phone. Cool, I get that. Mm-hmm. But what you do is it it, it kind of makes it harder for people who don't want to buy wireless headphones or are worried about battery life. I'm 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 ranting. I'm done. No, no, you're right. <laughs> but it's go off. Okay, I'm about to go off. Motherfucking Apple. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, <laughs> go off, nigga. No, what yeah. are, what other features does this phone have? This iPhone 10. Wait, wait, uh. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> We, well, lost, the we lost. We lost to see. We lost Shabby for a second there. Mm-hmm. Well, Shabby's back. Uh, mm-hmm. Had to get back from the MK Ultra. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> stop playing. That nigga had a um, vision. You know, like how in um, what was that? What was that show called when she looked oh, in the future? Oh, that's so Raven. Yeah, nigga had a, a wow. vision for a second. We yeah. lost, we spaced out. <laughs> Shabby was like, 
<laughs> oh, no, y'all. I was, I was just seeing how each and every one of you were going to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But then, instead of seeing into the future, he sees so far into the past that it's insightful now. <laughs> like, maybe I shouldn't have did that five years. <laughs> <laughs> that word. is useless. Le- word, like, he learned like, his useless. lesson. Like, some, some, shit, some shit will happen, and then he'll just have a <laughs> flashback of some nigga in Rome <laughs> making the same mistake, and he'll come back and say, no, we shouldn't do this. <laughs> It didn't. It didn't How work out. Know, it didn't work out right for a soccer league, right? <laughs> Yo, if you don't do some shit like that, mm. <laughs> go back like nigga. Did y'all mm. know all the seasons were black? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, we gotta rewrite everything, y'all. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all fucking around, do that night. You tell people, and then somebody show up. We know, and then assassinate <laughs> you. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. yeah, just like that, and TPSG dies. Holy shit. That was a dark ass. We brought it there. Wild <laughs> ass. <laughs> Tangent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, but um, the iPhone 10 X, whatever you want to call it, but I believe X Apple 10. and Apple is imploring you. No, let me stop. But hmm. the Apple is asking everyone or letting everyone know that it's the iPhone 10. Um, if y'all don't, if, for those of y'all who haven't seen it, there's. On the top part of the screen, the, basically the screen the screen extends throughout the entire front of the phone. Mm-hmm. You know, sides, bottom. There's no home button. There's no bottom bezel. The top bezel, the only part that's blacked out is the space for the front facing camera and the earpiece. So you kind of have this. What would you call it? This little black, you know, piece that's interrupting black strip the screen in the middle. Space. Yeah. Black and, um, indentation. And they use the little, I call it bunny ears, <laughs> the little parts of the screen on the sides of that. On, on the on the left side and the right side, you feel me? When you go in the middle and you put the bitches together and then you smush right a baloney. But <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga just going all in they and out of frame, g- <laughs> giving who, who kid a he- who kid over there like, nigga, you nigga, nigga, stay, you stay your ass in frame. Ass in frame. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm over-dramatizing the dramatization. <laughs> <laughs> if who nah, could kick in the jaw from where he's sitting, he would. But it is cool. The idea is for the screen to immerse you, which it's pretty dope that, you know, a screen does take up most of the front of the phone. However, I think it's kind of tacky. And when I look at it from the point of view of what I think Steve Jobs will be putting out there, it's not clean. It's not. Yeah. It's not clean. <laughs> it's not clean. It's not. I don't believe that's what Steve Jobs would have been putting out. Mm. I don't think he would have walked out with that on the stage, with his, you know, with that in his hand. So personally, you, but so I, do you I think mean, Steve, Steve Jobs, Jobs spinning in his grave right now? Over. I don't know about that either. I mean, yes, y'all put no. He be like, man, motherfucking face, what face emojis? <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, what's up? Like, what's up with that laser keyboard I was talking about? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, like I think I definitely think. Um, Steve Jobs, every you know, while he he would tell you, "Oh, you're holding the iPhone wrong," or whatever the case is, everything he brought out was some pretty next level shit. Mm-hmm. And like now, after you know, Android kind of like surpassed them in in terms of software. Like notifications bar changed the game. Once Android got that notifications bar, you know, all of a sudden iPhone got it. Maybe what a phone and a half later. Mm-hmm. Something like that, and um, and then then finally like the real race started. And I think if y'all don't know, for those of y'all who don't know, Samsung makes the screens for iPhone, uh, and they have made other parts like processing chips and things like that for them. So, you know, a lot of the battle y'all see going on is just for all of y'all to bicker amongst each other and talk shit about the same exact thing. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, as far as my impressions on it, it's a dope-ass device. It's a very, very nice device, but I don't feel like I want to spend my money on it. Well, all right. And I get excited about technology, so, you know, fuck it. Right, I'm but right. that new Note, nigga, that shit is serious. Mm. That new Samsung Note, but hopefully that bitch don't blow up. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Right. So what's on... On, what's, uh, on this episode of Nigga Technology. Oh, niggas mm-hmm. analogy. <laughs> nigga Technology. Oh, somebody hey, pending. Don't even. Don't somebody even who try. might need some <laughs> some nigga technology. Something like a like a special like piece of 
software app that alerts you when angry policemen are nearby. No. <laughs> yeah. To stay the fuck away. For real. Word. Like, keep a track of whatever police car these angry-ass police officers be on. Because each Word. car is, has an ID on it. Mm. Yo, I just saw this thing. I... I Black geniuses know, out there. I don't even know why. Tech people. I don't even know why. Place. I just I just thought of about, about it. Not even like why we were talking before the podcast. I saw this video, and there's a bunch of cops, right? And pretty much it's like a PR video to try to change the the um or try to talk about the um how cops got, get, have like a bad mm -hmm. rap now. Mm -hmm. And ju and you could t and they found. They made sure to put a bunch of black cops in there too, <laughs> talking about, you know, you know, there's a few bad apples, but you can't judge and da da da. And I feel like people don't trust cops anymore. That I'm like, you think? You think? You're like, nigga, don't I blame like people. Don't fe blame people for not trusting cops anymore. Stop mm. killing motherfuckers. Yeah, right? blame Say the cops for people not trusting cops. Word. And and <laughs> it was <laughs> funny, like there was there was one uh, a W shoot. She was saying, you know, I feel like people judge a whole group based off the actions of a few. And I'm I'm oh, looking at them like, shit. Does I'm that sound familiar? I'm like, no shit. You mean the same shit y'all do when y'all scoop up black people and fucking judge them all based fuck on... Fuck up our community. Fuck up your word. Family structure. Word. I'm like... I mean, economy. granted, the playing field was never leveled in the first place. Word. When y'all plaster black faces on the news when they do shit. But when white people do shit, y'all don't even put the names well, out. Well, that, that's Talk usually because that. that's usually because such and such is related uh, parents to, or word. you know are related to someone with word. influence. They got they got connections, but you know my point is mm -hmm. like they they always it's ironic that they want the the benefit of the doubt that black people has been asking for since forever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because the whole perception of like the whole thing, the whole reason <coughs> of of them being in this issue because they stereotype black people. Mm -hmm. And now you're asking not to be stereotyped. Like, nigga. See the hypocrites, uh, them yeah. I got along there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Word. Word. So, lick fire for you guys. I saw what you're trying to do. It's lame. I it. Don't try to. You guys are whack. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't try to put out some video trying to be like, oh, trust us. <laughs> Talk to your law enforcement. No, train your fucking law, law enforcement, enforcement, dog. Look, don't all that money you spent on that on that fucking um, promo video. Prom, promo video you should have spent training motherfuckers not to shoot people first. I got yeah, exactly. I got it's Word. not it's not the officers. The Word. officer does not have the right to feel offended when he's in duty. Yeah. Like straight up, like you're supposed to enforce the law. Word. As it as it as the entity that it is, like uh, with with without bias. Word. If without. somebody's rude to you, nigga, take that shit, nigga. You're not the absolute power, dog. Exactly. People are like, oh, don't be rude, like cops. Don't be so, rude, like cops. Are you're so gonna talk to an officer. Obnimous power, like, oh, because you didn't, you, you, like, you gotta, like, a cop is a wild animal. Yeah. And if you're not careful around that nigga, like, he'll he'll kill you. Like, oh, you should have did this around the cop. Like, the cop should have used its. Is down fucking discretion, discretion, dog, like, and wisdom, and uh, wisdom. <laughs> like you're there to defuse the situation, dog. Like you're y y one for one. You chose that career. You know what I'm saying? You picked that career. I didn't pick to be a, a damn target. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when people talk about old blue lives, like, nigga, you hey, picked that career. You knew, d d with with every career, there's what you call occupational hazards, <laughs> and these are shits that you know of. <laughs> Before taking a job, exactly. You know what I'm saying. So if you if you want to feel sorry for cops being in danger, da, 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 that's what they signed up for. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. The, that exactly. 12 year old boy you murdered, he didn't sign up for shit. Nope. He didn't even get a chance to live his life. You know what I'm saying. You signed up to to you, you what you thought you was gonna give you a get a badge and a gun and your job was gonna be safe 100 percent of the time, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> don't be an asshole. Yeah, don't be a little bitch either. Yeah. You're just shooting people don't, when you're scared, dog. Don't be either of those. Like you yeah. just said. Sorry, really don't be an asshole though. Like you can't just you can't just have a gun and feel like the fate of the world is in your hands. Yeah. You know? Because the judgment's gonna come back to you one way or another. 
We're running around here trying to be Jason Bourne and shit. <laughs> End up shooting people that don't even need to be shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, M- mean, meanwhile, Jimmy and Tommy <laughs> <laughs> just passed by you robbing shit right behind your face. We're doing all kinds of shit. Well, I brought that up to bring up <laughs> sorry, for, the, for, the, for the mild rant. But, mild. you know, it, mild, just that was a mild one. But Michael Bennett, and, and he got, um, he was in Las Vegas. Oh. Yes. For the fight. Yes, I believe. Yes. And um, he was moving with a crowd, mm-hmm. and uh, um, cops end up um, harassing him, um, end up, you know, pretty much like roughing him up, throwing him ground, going through like all. all Michael Bennett is? Um, he's, a, he's a NFL player. Okay. For the Seahawks. Okay. You know what I'm saying, and um, they they said he they 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 treated him a certain way. They um they pretty much like brutalized him, dog. Like 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 with his old yeah. He said he you know he, you know physically bruised. They like they they handled him a certain way, and um he said he said um when they when they like it was until like they found out who he was. That's when like oh that's they it switched up. It switched up, and. One of the, I was I was I was I was reading through the story, and one of the one of the comments was, and it just goes to show you how people don't humanize us, mm. or people don't humanize, yeah, just us in general. He was saying they're like, oh, the, uh, uh, a big old NFL player. What did he think? The, what did he expect the cop to do? What? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, leave him the fuck alone. Yeah, I'm like just because. What was he doing? Just because you're a, a certain size and you're black, all of a sudden people are like, oh, you're, you're a target. You're a target. But that just shows you the fear that's been instilled through rhetoric, through propaganda. Word. Come on, man. Word. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, because he's an NFL player and because he's big, that one, he's aggressive, and two, that you know, you need to rough this person up, or you know, what I'm saying this person deserves he was the to. Source be. of that problem. Word. They, exactly. Didn't they pull a gun on him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so to. So your job as is the diffuser of the situation is the person who's supposed to come in, make sure people are safe. You're you're in turn um, putting a harmless, innocent man in direct danger. Where mm-hmm. they escalate situations instead of they definitely escalate because like they the exact opposite of the job. Where it's mm-hmm. like you can't come into a situation with all kinds of pride and expect people to listen to everything you say, and if they don't listen to what you say, because really. It, when you when you look at these things, it boils down to, um, the the they wanted to be listened to like they wanted they they want their orders to be obeyed right away, mm-hmm. and it's right. a, and it's a pride thing, and when people when people um, talk back or when people um, aren't like a hundred percent, it's like it's like this, people always make excuses for cops, but. If some if you work a, a a sales job, and somebody's rude to you, you can't punch them in the fucking face. <laughs> you got to take that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You got to defuse the situation. Or you're gonna get fired. Or you're gonna <laughs> get fired. <coughs> if uh, you're rude. Where and you just a nigga that t- sells t-shirts. So <laughs> you're a fucking <laughs> cop, and they don't tra- train you to defuse situations. There's a problem there. Exactly. Because you get trained. Like if you get trained like to a certain degree to deal with public like with any job mm-hmm. you work with food you work with people you know trying to get so and so with you you gotta know how to like, all right whatever try to dis de escalate the situation mm-hmm. you know you tell me you don't have that as a cop clearly not but it's a culture of excessive force it's a culture of force in general mm-hmm. um comes from a culture of that parent type mentality of you know do what i say this is the law i don't give a shit Mm -hmm. and also white supremacy Mm -hmm. white supremacy in the exact definition of the term Mm -hmm. as a lovely jamel hill put it (laughs) or talked about and we're gonna get to that uh but white supremacy in the sense that you are white or you are not the minority Mm -hmm. you feel privilege because your life has been a certain way for a long time meaning you don't have to worry about certain consequences for s- some of your actions right. i mean and, speak uh, on jamil hill, like and speaking of jamil hill yeah speak on it speak on it well i mean for those of y'all who don't know jamil hill is a anchor on sports center 
for ESPN, if I'm not mistaken. No, she or she's part of it. Show, um, oh my bad. Isn't hers with uh, what's that guy's name? But yeah, she somebody. She, somebody. Oh, oh yeah, I know you don't remember. that guy on ESPN. That's so not too funny, but that guy. <laughs> um, and Jamel Hill, yeah, she's she's a personality on ESPN and and made some very outspoken tweets that were basically factual, you know, based mm. upon Donald Trump's uh, yeah she actions said, she, since before and being in office now. Yeah, she said that <laughs> Donald Trump was a white supremacist who supports white white supremacists or gay or who um without gay who. Gives like she said like she uh, give he gives them support or he, he yeah um yeah we gotta find the tweets real quick but basically yeah and she did say his rise to power is a direct result of white supremacy because there's I mean really there's no way that mm. someone like Donald Trump would be in power like if he was not white oh yeah the fact the even with all that money it doesn't matter the fact that he. The fact that he had he he had negative to say he he talked about black people he talked about Mexicans he talked <laughs> about it, he talked about Muslims he talked about all these people and still won because white people give, don't give a fuck about exactly. the people he talked about exactly you know what I'm saying Hillary called a a a, a, a crowd deplorable <laughs> and that shit and that shit went batshit for her because <laughs> it was a it was a group of W she was talking about. And they and they're like, you called American citizens deplorables. I'm like, yeah, them niggas at the Trump rallies are kind of deplorables. I don't know what to tell you. And, and <laughs> it's the biggest deal in the world. Word, like it's the biggest deal in the world with all that hate rhetoric. Word. All that very aggressive speech, man. It's pretty damn ridiculous. But what's what's more upsetting than anything? And oh well, here's let let's we could read a little bit of Jamel Hill's tweets, right? Um. Here's one of the best ones. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a bigot. Glad you could live. I'm um, glad you could live with voting for him. I couldn't because I cared about more than just myself. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see some other good ones. Um, Donald Trump is a white supremacist who has largely surrounded himself with other white supremacists, mm-hmm. which is true. Yeah, it is also true. You know. Um, Yo, she, she hit the, the nail on the head when it comes to that. Um, selfishness of people thinking of themselves yeah because like people well for one the people that i know who did vote for donald trump they're real quiet on politics in general now yeah but before (laughs) you know um like i saw one of them like he he put his status was like well you know regardless you know i'm straight my bills are you know he's he's a white dude of course and like people like (laughs) And people, other W's are commenting is like, man, it must be real nice to live in a bubble and not worry about anybody else. I'm like, yeah, that's how they think. That's that's exactly ties into this other one of her other tweets. The mm. height of white privilege is being able to ignore his white supremacy because it's not a threat to you. Well, it's a threat to me. Mm. Very true statement. Sure. It's, it's a threat to everyone who's mm-hmm. not white. Yeah. yeah. And privilege. And <laughs> that's and, and that's in part why it shows how a successful campaign you know, it is a direct, you know, cause from white supremacy, dog. It didn't affect white people. None of his his re- his rhetoric didn't affect white people. Um, the informa- like he, he during his campaign, he tweeted out um some some graph that basically said that black people are more prone to crime than anybody else. Some 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 crazy graph and, that and he a graph pulled based on some random probably bias yeah you know statistic and this was during the election so, and, and they still let it ride and they let it ride so I mean it's like oh this niggas he's talking about so it's straight yeah and and clearly because we can see where ESPN stands on it too so for the most part you know Donald Trump does surround him uh, with big companies and you know people up at the top at ESPN would probably be no different. Mm. Um, but ESPN did release a statement on Jamel Hill's comments and said, the comments on Twitter from Jamel Hill regarding the president do not represent the position of ESPN. We have addressed this with Jamel, and she recognizes her actions were inappropriate. Mm. So it's inappropriate. Now, to step back, she did actually violate 
ESPN's or her contract with ESPN in in, in the way that she spoke out about if I'm not mistaken. But then she can't say but it on, it's on like her a, Twitter. Well, honest, but tw- yeah, and honestly, what, people have been fired from ESPN for saying way less controversial things. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. in, in the public, you know, in the public forum or, and what have you. So, mm. so it seems she's not really getting punished for it. We don't know why. Well, at least not publicly mm. for now. We don't mm-hmm. know. Um, but if ESPN would deem... Oh, her, they're saying her actions were inappropriate, not her words. So and her, you know, her actions, meaning probably tweeting these directly... Uh, what what's the right word? Oh, oh, she, oh, she tagged. Did she tag? The, um. uh, she, because she's basically accusing Donald Trump of being something mm-hmm. that's frowned upon. Mm-hmm. You know, in you know something that you know people would not want to be called. Obviously, not yeah. at least not in the public. Mm-hmm. And um, and that's I think that's against part of the policy. It's like. Uh, I'm not explaining this very well, <laughs> yeah. but basically that she can express her political opinions, but not to get into any real deep specific debates or um, dialogue on it. Oh. Yeah, I think you're not supposed to go past a certain threshold, and I think she did pass that according to their contract. I have to read more into it. I actually read into it earlier, but mm. um, so her actions in general, I guess, to them are inappropriate, but... Truth be told, the position of ESPN, I mean, if you're not agreeing with what she says, then truth be told, you're probably on Trump's side, right? Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's, to me, it's like, because they ha- they're so opinionated on, about these athletes' lifestyles mm-hmm. that it's like, if you want to, if you want to keep it purely about sports, then why are you, why are you even talking about, um, you know, some wide receivers? trouble off the field you know what i'm saying like why even why even mention that if if, if you if you're all about sports because mm-hmm. that's 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 the that's kind of like the the thing that they're that they're they're dealing with it now they're yeah. saying like well we're not gonna get into the politics because we're about sports i'm like nah but y'all y'all dive into these athletes personal lives all the time exactly that has nothing to do with the sport yeah, exactly. you know what i'm saying y'all being hypocrites so it's like if y'all if y'all can open your fix your mouths to talk about these niggas and but we can't talk about people who, you know, public figures who affect mm-hmm. our lives. Like, that's who are, that's some bullshit. Who are actually saying and doing things that negatively affect society and people. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, word. word. So, that's the machine, right? Mm-hmm. Word. See, my brothers and sisters, yes. the man the gonna try to shut you up and shut you down. If you don't sit your bitch ass, right, I'm, I'm tripping, man. He <laughs> <laughs> sure as fuck is. Where yeah. my Malcolm X glasses? But yeah, man. But um, but we here, we survive. You know Seriously, what I'm saying? Malcolm X glasses. Um, Hurricane Irma. Yeah, slid on through. The slid through the neighborhood. Bruh, blew slid down a, through. Blew slid down a path. few trees. Knocked out some power. Not Word. Like branches everywhere. Word. How how how's your ex- how, how's your experience? Uh, my experience, uh, we actually semi-evacuated, me and my fam. Um, we went to a hotel mm. a, a little bit more, just slightly more west, because um, we already live sort of northwest, most of us. Um, so my experience was cool. I had to you know, board up the house and whatnot. Our unit, thank God, was good. Mm. A lot of other people in my building, unfortunately, have a lot of bad leaks, but that's building issues. Thank God we in apartment three sixteen. John three sixteen, baby. We protected by God. Hey. <laughs> nah, but our 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 unit did not have any leaks, no damages whatsoever. So thank God for that, man. We dodged the bullet on that one. Unfortunately some other people didn't. But how y- how your spot looking, man? Oh no, no no real damage. Um I mean but Hurricane Irma I will say this. If if it would have stayed on its original uh, forecast stayed up, yeah, stayed mm-hmm. a category five and came straight to Miami. That would have been some shit because the storm was nothing to fuck with. But yeah. with that being said, this storm did what all other storms coming our way does. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. It hits a few Caribbean islands and then veers off gets west. A little yeah, it gets a little wobbly mm-hmm. and veers off west and goes goes towards the Gulf of Mexico and 
pretty much misses Miami. We get a day and a half, maybe two days with the <laughs> bad weather. And we and we and we cool in time off. But work. I, I, this this one this one has done the most damage that I've seen. Since we I've talking mad lighthearted about it right now. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. We but are, we yeah, are. Like I said, though, across the street, oh. there are bleachers like on top of the <laughs> in between quick, trees. Quick disclaimer, y'all. We from South Florida, right? So we've lived through hurricanes for mm. many years. Um, so we're used to it. For those of y'all who don't come from these tropical climates where you experience hurricanes. These tropical climes. Uh, <laughs> these yes. tropical climates mm-hmm. on the BBC. Mm-hmm. The but yeah. <laughs> I'm Chet Pennington. But yeah, that's why, you know, we kind of have like a laissez-faire attitude about hurricanes. Because like, oh. we get Because, you know, we have hurricane parties. <laughs> we do. So we, we just get shut in and, 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 and get shit inebriated for the, for <laughs> the whole time. Shit time. Shit yeah. Time. But this one actually, you know, it this had one's everyone sca- going crazy. Well, yeah, we got, you know, the f- we we're spooked. The news, you know though, the news was, spooked though? a lot of people, though. And Harvey was a week before. Yep. And all the devastation from Houston just I had, mean, it had everyone terrified. Like, people were looking at the news and thinking, that's going to be South Florida next week. It, we got to go prepare. If it it could have been. It could have been. And it, it could have been. Once again, we're going to get this clear. E- even though it weakened, it we did been some swamp shit. all over it again. It did some damage, bro. <laughs> the even, keys fucked up. Oh, yeah. Right now. yeah. I mean, not to take it lightly, but like they, I, I've seen some pictures and videos, and the keys are going through it. Yeah. But that could have very well been us. Mm. Yeah, man. Like, even, even, like, you know, the damage is here, like a bunch of like a lot of a lot of trees that's been there for years are gone. Um, yeah, man, a lot of my, old trees. Where the side the side arm um, fence at, at the crib fell over. Okay. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's it's definitely it's definitely more it, it, it was definitely more severe than 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 storms in, in recent years. Yeah. yeah. For you sure. Know? Yeah, it, we hadn't experienced something like that in a while. Yeah, They're this tough. one this one actually was like, okay. Even during I was just like, oh, What's going yeah, well, right yeah, yeah, yeah. But y'all who didn't know there were like random mini tornadoes all throughout like Fort Lauderdale yep. popping up. Mm-hmm. And and they kept playing the same tornado over and over on the TV scaring the f- scaring everybody. I'm trying yeah, to slow the, down oh, the my torna- person, y'all. No, the, tor- <laughs> the, yeah, the tornado warning. Scaring the crap out of everybody, man. Yeah. Like did y'all I know y'all got iPhones. How oh, many yeah. of y'all got that? Yeah, it rushed up on like seven every times. two seconds. Yeah. yeah, it was like it was like a, for about an hour, from like three to four on Friday. Did, <laughs> did y'all lose power? Uh, I don't think we, I don't think we lost any power. Oh, we lost power for like two days. Trap. Oh damn. Yeah, it was. How many showers you take a day just to stay cool? Man, this place was hot. <laughs> hot yeah, hot as a no breeze. Man, <laughs> it wasn't a breeze, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the last hot ass air. It, word, and it was just like it's that nasty after hurricane burst. Word, you know, I, 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 I'd anticipated this, and I went to Barnes and Noble, got a couple of books. And I'm like, all right, cool, these are my hurricane books. But then, with the with the Should've pop, got a hurricane fan, nigga. Word, with a, we, exactly <laughs> though. Hurricane flashlight. With dude. a with a with a power out. With the windows boarded up, the light was always so bad, they couldn't even read the <laughs> like, Niggas was just sitting in the dark, hot. Sweating. Imagine angry. being dark and hot. Looking Felt like, like I was in hell. R&B music video. <laughs> <laughs> Word. With, a, <laughs> with my chest out. <laughs> with a do-rag on. With a do-rag on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, think, Sir Black Stallion yeah. and the nigga lights coming out soon. And the nigga baby. lights. That R&B. Hey, hey. And it's coming on vinyl, baby. Word. One thing I will say, though. <laughs> Like right after a hurricane passes, the weather's great. Like right, like as soon as it's gone, you Beautiful get a ma- like perfect right. beach weather. Weather if you could only make it down there. Like, uh, oh, we gotta. Oh, we, oh well, you know we are being very lighthearted. There's a lot of lights still out. It's a, yeah. It's yeah. almost a week later. Miami's super flooded in many different areas. Matter of fact, that's um, where dramatic is. He yeah, I was about to say yeah. We he, forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, dramatic. Yeah, he's, he's helping restore power at the yeah, moment, guys. Yeah, restore. you know, he's he's currently at his um <laughs> his place of residence, powering uh, uh powering, powering the, the generator. generators Ooh. for the entire block. But uh, right. apparently, it, they have a, a huge hamster wheel exactly to the side of the house that he's running 
but you know, apparently, you know, unfortunately, he's not athletic, so the place is at a constant dim. Yeah, <laughs> but but the the whole rig, the whole setup is a is a phenomenon one you know, should see. A marvel to modern science. And, or, and why not get a laugh out of seeing Sir Dramatic try to <laughs> run the ass through? It would. But he's all right. He ain't naked in no trees yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah, they got him down. They got yeah. him down from After the about tree. Life, Just a few minutes. scrapes, and a, bumps and, a, and bruises. And a little bit of embarrassment. Or, but he'll be all right. You know? Had to remove a twig. And who knows when he'll be back, because we don't know. FPL seems to be working fast on some areas, but Florida Power and Light, they don't give a fuck about them small power grids. So if you got about 80-something, 100 people on your grid, you might be out of power for another <laughs> week. You Damn. Know? So, um, and But for those of y'all who got power back, more power to you. <laughs> was, that, was that pun intended? I didn't think about that before I said it. <laughs> we even we even lost water for a little bit. Oh, oh shit. At one point, yeah. Uh oh, man, we lost cable. It was crazy. I lost <laughs> cell phone reception. Lost cell phone. Oh reception. yeah, yeah. Wait. Cell phone reception was ass for like three days. Yeah, it's still a little ass now, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And but that's cool. I I. I like uh, I don't need people reaching me all the time. Word, yeah. exactly. It's kind of it's an excuse now, <laughs> right? Oh, you try calling me dog since a hurricane, dog <laughs> uh, connection, dog. Uh, no you know, know bad as shit. You know, <laughs> yeah, I can not return your phone. They, they really didn't turn my power all yesterday. <laughs> 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 Remember that tree in my front yard, my nigga? Nah. <laughs> every every day your power was turned on yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Damn, no, you sent me that my power. You know they just turned my, my power, power yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> Friday come, man. You know they just turned my power on yesterday, man. I didn't even get to get to charge my phone. <laughs> my phone been dead for about five days. Service, <laughs> my bad, dog. My bad. Man, turns out this nigga hey, calling you. You just staring at the phone. Look at <laughs> TBSG putting you on game. Word. Helping you make excuses Word. for your brother, man. Hey, man. <laughs> and uh, uh, you, just a just a fair warning to all our friends. I, I, <laughs> you know, I I cannot. I, I, I work hard, but I cannot afford to go to twenty seven baby showers <laughs> <laughs> just because y'all niggas were bored <laughs> and hot and they had no power. Word. Oh so man. So wrap it up. Oh. Go to a friend's house. Find Wait, some outdoor activities to do. Up. Speaking of which, oh hurricane babies, bro. There was a yeah. woman who had a baby. I just did the. There was a woman who had a baby by herself in the crib because emergency um, emergency help couldn't get out to her during the hurricane. They oh, they, they tell women at like thirty something weeks that they should go to the hospital when the hurricane comes, comes. because the air pressure drops so low, uh, can induce them into labor and whatnot. Uh, so they have them in a safe place at a certain point. So they probably told her to get ass to the hospital. She didn't want to listen. Yeah. Probably, mm. but if they didn't, they get fucked up. But she should have. So either way, the, the baby is healthy. Thank, thank God. God, and the woman is healthy. Or a, hey, if if that was my child, um, the middle name would be Stormborn. I don't care. Mm, Stormborn. <laughs> that's, so, that's so fitting, though. Yeah. Stormborn. I wouldn't be mad at you. Where there'll be some African name Stormborn. My last Targaryen. name. Targaryen. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. It's the storm born. Hey, but real talk, Jormatic was found in a tree, but naked. Right. Um, but yeah, man. But hey, but for we'll, for we'll those of you guys out there, you know, still hurting, that, you know, that lost property, you know, even in my neighborhood, I saw trees landing on a couple of cars. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, we wish y'all the best, you know, sending positive energy. Um, energy. You know, it's a. Yeah, and I, yeah, you know, it's, I know it's a bitch deal with, you know, the the post hurricane stuff. Right. A lot of places are closed, closed. A lot of insurance companies are roaches. But you know, keep your head up. Truth. You know what I'm saying? FEMA ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. FEMA ain't shit. But what? Shout out to the food, the free food trucks out by Sawgrass Mall, True. the BB and T Center, and the Florida Panthers helping out. You know. For people who weren't able to cook a hot meal, they had a bunch of free food trucks out in the parking lot at the BB&T Center where the Florida Panthers hockey team, yes, we got a hockey team, nigga, where the Florida Panthers play. And I mean, I was going to say, in general, shout out to all these big companies stepping forward in, uh, in a lot of people's mm-hmm. time of needs. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, what was it, Citibank, $150 credit to, uh, to their subscribers. Right. Um, and there are a bunch of other companies doing little small yeah. things they can to help out the taking those L's just to make sure that 
their customers are a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, a lot of some a lot of um banks are giving um people who like call um uh, like a three month reprieve on their mortgage. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're not well. They're not taking three months off your mortgage. They're just saying that giving you, you a break. Giving yeah, you a break. Payment. You don't have to pay for like three months to handle yourself. Up. So I mean, it's 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 and pretty good. So if you if you you know if if you're dealing with you know damages and you know costs associated with a hurricane, and you you know you have a mortgage, give them a call. They they might be able to help you out. And if any of y'all got a Vanguard retirement account through your job, if you had a job, you probably had a retirement account. You ain't even know it. But if you have a retirement account through Vanguard Investments, you actually I mean, uh, uh, you actually um, they're they're doing free wire transfers for any withdrawals. So you got an emergency and you got money in your retirement account. Yeah, there's taxes and shit, but uh, they will put the money in your account that same day. Oh, that's a lot. For free. The wire, that could yeah. be Wires ain't too. cheap, bro. So. Yeah. yeah. That could be clutch. So that's pretty clutch uh, for Vanguard customers. And other big companies are probably doing things like that as well. Wait, wait, that's Who a knows? Lot. Look into that, y'all. There's a lot of good resources out there and companies stepping up, people, community stepping up and helping us out in this time of disaster. So. Word. Word. Well, gentlemen, that sounds like about a about a podcast. About a podcast. About a podcast. <laughs> so <laughs> we appreciate y'all, man. Yes, we do. Very for listening, so. for yeah, for rocking up. with us. And y'all know where to find us. Y'all can find us, of course, who dash designs dot com backslash tpsg. Um, you know we on sound. Oh. You know we on SoundCloud all the time. SoundCloud.com, mm-hmm. and of course you can find us on on um, on uh, on the podcast app on on iTunes. There we go. Yeah, and now we on YouTube as well too. On so you YouTube, can see how sexy we all look while we talking to all of y'all. Huh? Huh? Or uh-huh. if you don't want to do all that, all you got to do is go on Google and type the Physics Study Group because you know we hashtag Googleable. Googleable baby, all day baby. Or we at least the first like five, ten, hundred thousand results <laughs> all on. I appreciate the support. Y'all spread the word. Word of mouth is the best thing. So tell tell a neighbor about the physics study group. This, we're we're going to call this the, the the spread the word challenge. How are we going to do it? Spread the word. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just like that. <laughs> spread the word. Spread the word. And then show us how you spread Take the, the word. Take the word. You get the knife. And spread and it. Spread <laughs> it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All over. Word, you do us a favor. Go on our Instagram and tag a friend on one of the pictures. Go to our YouTube, tag a friend. Watch all the videos. Watch all the videos. About five times. Word, about five times. All day, nonstop. All day. So Put yourself in an endless loop. Word. So this, <laughs> this is Sir Blackstein the Third, aka Flock of Zulu, aka Pablo Escovich, and to the right of me, Eels. It's the boy David Bomaye, aka. That Chico Fantastico, the fantastic Chico who feels so goddamn fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's your boy Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. No Hurricane Formed Against Me Shall Prosper. <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> 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 Nigga, we out. All right, let me stop. Let me calm down. You know what time it is. It's your favorite podcast, TPSG. And I thank you. We thank you for tuning in. Peace. Peace. Out. <laughs>